All right, we're gonna install the Euclear Motion 6 communicator into the CKX Mission helmet. Pretty simple installation, so let's get right to it. smallest stripper blanket give your helmet a little bit of protection and then we're going to remove the, the visor by pressing in on the buttons on the side and rotating it up as you get to a certain point you can pull out on the sides and the visor will come right off next is the shield we're going to do the same we're going to push in on the side buttons pop this open and we'll get to a point and that thing will pop right off just like that. Now we got those out of the way. You can take this bottom shield off if you like, uh, but in this case, there's a lot of room in that opening. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna actually remove the cheek pieces and they just Velcro in place like that. Very simple. We'll get them out of the way. And now we're ready to install the U-Clear. You'll see here there's even a little recess indent for the communicator. In most cases that'll be fine to stick right on there. Uh, if you find that it's still uncomfortable, it's, it's causing too much pressure on your ears, I wouldn't be too afraid to hone that out just a bit to make more room for that uh, ear pad. But uh, that's up to you. I like to keep the shell intact as much I can uh, for safety reasons, but I mean comfort's important as well. We're going to open up the uh, the Euclear Motion Series box, and uh, I've already had the one communicator out, and it's installed on the other helmet. So we're going to pop this uh, communicator off and uh, remove the ear pads from the box. We really don't need a whole lot. We need the, uh, the two Velcro pads. And we'll line it up with that indent there. Stick that down. Just like that. We can grab the speakers and you'll see they're labeled right and left. So you really can't make a mistake. Line the speaker like that to the Velcro. And then we can take this other speaker like that. Now we can actually uh, have a look at the wiring here. This uh, liner will pull out just by pulling up gently on it. So we're going to pop this rear liner off. I like to mount the control on this side of the helmet so I can use my left hand to control it. So we will uh, just give ourselves a little bit of extra cable here and, uh, and that can pop out there. We'll, we'll actually bring this Velcro inner liner back and that's where we'll tuck the cord going between each communicator. Once you got the cord in place you can Velcro the liner back in and just make sure that speakers are put back onto the pads if they did fall down. Again, more than I need on that one there. So that we're a little short on this, which is good. Um, it may be all right. Now, the next step is the microphones here. In the year clear box, there is actually a small package of microphone adhesive strips. And you'll notice there's a hole in the one. That's for the, the uh, microphone to stick through. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna peel these apart like so, and the, the furry part with the, with the tape on it goes inside the helmet. This just holds the microphone in place and the hole is, allows the microphone to pop out through. We want to be kind of in front of the, uh, the cheek pad. So I think on this helmet here, 
stick the microphone pad right in here and then we'll do the same to the other side but we'll start with putting this microphone in you'll notice on the microphone the small hole there it isn't on the back so we want that out so we're going to put that on the velcro pad that we stuck inside and then we're going to put this little sh this little male velcro piece with the hole on it just over top so it looks like that and then when we put the cheek pad in we're going to make sure that we cover up the wire so we're going to hold that wire in place with the cheek pad the strap goes just underneath the communicator there that cheek pad goes on and we're going to make sure that that is the wire is actually being held down with the velcro any slack in the wire we can just push in further underneath the velcro so there's nothing hanging down just like that and then we have a nice installation on that side so that side is done you can see the speaker in there right through to the microphone at the front we're going to apply that down in there like that the microphone again small hole put that through line that up and you can see it looks really good there now we can push this back in next we just uh, again wire management here it's not rocket science just use use this velcro chin piece to actually snap that into place to actually hold the wire in place and you can see the actual pad is actually nice and flush with the inside of the helmet so i don't feel we're going to have a lot of pressure from that ear pad in there and it is padded itself so i i believe it's going to be just as comfortable as in the oxygen helmet now we can put the rear the neck guard in and these six tabs and you see they they align with the tabs on the inside of the shell start at one just at the front here and make sure you push it all the way in and we'll just work ourselves along the helmet as we go you will hear them click into place in this case here when we get to this this zone here we want to make sure that this cable is coming out where the slot is that way it's not being pinched so we're going to push that into the slot there we go nice and clean you can see the wire coming out of there and you can see it doesn't interfere with the operation of the chin shield or the neck shield i find with the uh with the uclear if, especially if you wear a tech vest you don't want it too low on the helmet because you could by by moving your head knock that off of the the helmet i have seen it happen before so i usually like to place it up high on this helmet there's a lot of molds and and so forth we don't want it to interfere with the function of the sun sun visor like you can see here um, i think right here would be a good spot for it so essentially there's a couple of mounts that this that is included with this uclear i do like this big gray one um, i find it snaps in really nice and easy and you can do it with gloves on quite easy it also includes this black first generation clip um, that actually snaps in just as good the communicator will work even on an older install helmet that you've already got clips in but this might be the clip to use on this helmet because we don't have a lot of active real estate on it so I'd, I'd usually snap that into place find the spot on the helmet like that I want to angle it so it's following that line on the helmet that looks really good you can see it's not going to interfere with the visor action at all and it's back a little bit so one-handed operation if you want to press any buttons to take calls change tracks on your audio that type of thing it's right there easy at hand we use some rubbing alcohol we're going to clean up the area so it sticks nice and good again i just set that mount on the comm i've got the uclear logo reading upright Uclear logo's upright on this. The cord will plug in the bottom. Peel off the backing. Set this into place. A 
give it a firm press for about 30 seconds and then you're good to you're good to go this wiring will plug in like that and there's your comm installed now let's put the uh, let's put the visor back on start with it almost in the over the upright position push in on the side as you go and and just rotate the visor closed just be careful if you've left your rubber mask in there to pull it down as it as it crosses over the sun shield because you don't want the sunglasses to interfere with the operation of that visor now that that's closed make sure your sun shield works it does and then we can put the uh, the visor on the helmet same way you can see here I've got it I've got it wide open I'm going to slowly line up the sides and bring it down onto the onto the pins and there we go check to see that it operates okay this should be have some charge I had it on the charger we can power on that uclear device and uh, we're ready for action that is how you install the uclear motion series communicator on the ckx mission helmet so if this video helped you out make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching now get out enjoy your ride